Hey guys, at BB Matson here, and uh, we're gonna try something new. Um, I've got some real crusty chrome parts here. Um, trying to find one of these points covers has proven to be rather difficult. I'm watching them for uh, eBay sales right now. Um, but as you can see, we're through the chrome on some of these parts pretty severely. And uh, because of the parts I've got to buy for the carburetors, I figured, because um, you know, buying new covers, each one of these, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 40 bucks. This is probably gonna be 20, 30 bucks. That's 60 bucks. Um, finding one of these arms, that's another 20 bucks. So easily, you know, with shipping and everything, we're looking at 100 bucks. So I figured for $8, I would give this a whirl. There were some really good reviews on it. Krylon, premium, metallic, original chrome. And uh, I think for these parts, which, you know, they aren't heat sensitive necessarily. Um, they're really, you know, they're functional, but they're also decorative. Um, so I'm gonna try to clean these up and uh, give these a whirl. Let's see how good we can do with some uh, spray painted chrome. Of course, I think the wire wheel is gonna be a perfect tool for us today. Again, when you use this stuff, make sure that you wear safety goggles, okay? These little things can fly out and, and do some damage, okay? So wear your safety goggles, that's really important. Um, this is probably our best candidate today. It was a chrome piece, but as you can see, it's really, really pitted out really bad. So let's hit it. Let's just knock it off and get it real nice and smooth. All right. We kind of knocked some of that off. Um, still pretty rough, though. Um, I'm definitely going to have to do some sanding on this uh, for sure. I don't think that 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 uh, that uh, primer filler is going to be able to cover that out. So this is going to take a little bit more work. Going to have to really work the sanding on it. Um, let's uh, try this piece again. Really unfortunate. It's not in terrible shape everywhere else, but on these joints, it's pretty bad. Let's just see if we can knock some of this off. And I don't have to do the whole part. Just look how pitted it is, you know. I mean, it doesn't look, it's actually just taking it on the wire wheel. This piece looks a lot better already. Oh. Honestly, just hitting this with the wire wheel um, really cleaned it up a lot. I don't know if I really have to spray this. I might just lightly hit some of these spots, sand them. Um, but honestly, I feel pretty good. I'll hit it a little bit more some spots, knock it off, but yeah, I'm satisfied with this. Let's just sandblast some stuff here real quick. All right, let's try a little luck at sandblasting and see how this does. Trying to give you guys a good view of what's going on. Let's uh, oof, can barely reach these parts. Eee. There we go. All right, let's hit this. Let's see if we can knock some chrome off of these. All right, so sandblasting definitely smoothed all these pieces out pretty well. Um, I think it's going to be enough to hit these with filler primer and some good sanding um, to smooth them out. I think they're actually going to be fine. This one's pretty bad. Um, but still, like just for the touch, it's nice and smooth. So that's great. And also this cover, the uh, points cover, this is nice and smooth as well. So I'm actually going to give it a whirl um, with the filler primer. And let's just see um, if we put a nice thick coat on there. Let that settle, let it dry, sand it out. Um, we should be able to attack it with some of this premium metallic original chrome paint. So uh, let's do that next. Don't forget to shake your paint, guys. Shake your paint. Let's see, uh, let's put a nice wet coat of filler primer on this. And let's just see what we can do with it. I think it's probably gonna need a few coats, few heavy, heavy coats. Don't need to worry about the underside on this. Uh, hurts a little bit to uh, paint over this chrome. Definitely not awesome, but I'm gonna cake this on real thick on the top. 
just to the point where I think it might even start running on me. And again, you know, I'll probably eventually break down and and purchase, you know, some new covers. But for now, I just, I can't do it. Spent, you guys saw all the parts and <clears throat> spent a ton of money on it. So, okay, got a nice thick coat on here. Let's let her dry. And while we're waiting on that to dry, I'm actually just going to try and kind of spot hit this a little bit with some of this chrome and just see kind of how it does. I mean, even if it's just a little bit of an improvement, I'm okay with that. The stuff goes on pretty thick. I don't know. I think it's definitely bright. We'll see what it looks like when it actually dries out. But it's definitely a shiny metallic color paint. Try to hit some of this. Paint's got a real unique odor to it as well. And it comes in a really small can. It's like a really, really narrow can. I don't want to get any runs in it. That's the only thing I don't want. So there. I mean, shoot, man, from a galloping horse, I think it's going to look all right. It'll work. Looks better than it did. So, eh, it's a win, I guess. Not super blown away, but we'll see what happens. These are looking pretty nice. I'm going to shake it up a little bit, and uh, let's let's give it another nice thick coat. It's been sitting for about 10 minutes, so it's nice and tacky. Um, let's just hit it again. There are definitely some low spots in it that I want to fill in because I'm just going to sand it. We're going to get her nice and dry. And then we'll sand it out. And I'm feeling pretty optimistic because a lot of the, the big imperfections are already gone. So, bam, coat two. Hitting these tops really, really good. Let her dry. All right. I feel pretty good about how this has turned out. Looks pretty damn good. I'm just going to rough it up just a little bit uh, with some really, 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 really fine sandpaper. Actually, I'm just going to use my scuff pad, actually, um, just to smoothen this out. That uh, filler primer did a great, great job. So I'm just going to use my little scuff pad and just kind of work this a little bit. I'm pretty pleased with how this came out, actually. But I feel pretty good about this, guys. Um... You know, considering where it came from, it came out pretty good. I'll show you guys one of the covers. The covers came out pretty good as well. That looks really good. Again, that filler primer did a fantastic uh, job on this. Pretty pleased. Until I get funds to be able to purchase a new one. I think this is going to look okay. Let's go. Uh, let's go hit this bad boy with this chrome and let's see uh, what it looks like. Take this stuff up real good. Let's throw some color on it. See what she does. It's definitely got a shine to it. Uh, I should have sanded this a, just a little bit more, I think. But damn, as far as a product review goes, stuff doesn't look half bad. Not terrible. Let's let this sit and uh, we'll hit her with another coat. While we're waiting on that to dry, just take a look. It actually is reflecting a little bit of color, which is pretty cool. So overall, first impression, this might be all right. I might be able to live with these results. Huh. Surprised. All right, let's shake it up a little bit more and let's give her another light quote. 
I'll make it two good coats on the points cover. And you know, I do have to say, I think it's looking, I think it's looking really, really good. Um, it definitely does have like a little chromey kind of a feel to it when you look at it. Um, that's awesome. So one thing I, I'm also gonna tell you is that I do wanna clear coat this. So I'm just spraying down another peat. I, I just took like a little punch and I'm painting the end of it with the same paint. And then before I paint it with uh, gloss uh, or gloss clear, I'm going to uh, test it to make sure that the, the clear that I use uh, doesn't react badly with the paint. So um, yeah, I think we're in really, really, really good shape. I'm excited. All right, cool. Let's uh, wait for the paint to dry. And one of my favorite things to do while I'm waiting for paint to dry is to go for a ride. Let's crank up the 1970. Let's see how she does. Usually all we got to do is flip the choke a little bit. And All right, guys, I think we're ready for some clear coat. But again, before I clear coat, I wanna test. I wanna test to make sure this clear coat that I put on here um, doesn't, you know, chip it up or make it fade or anything like that. So just gonna test it out, see how it does. Um, looks like it kinda clouded up that paint just a little bit. See that? Not sure I like that. Yeah, and look at that, it's actually, it's actually kind of dissolving the paint. I think I'm gonna hold off on using this clear coat on this piece for sure. Always good to test. It's always good to test the reaction. I've had a lot of reactions with paint using this stuff. Um, so you always wanna check. Let's see if I can give you a good look at that. See how it like, it's kind of bubbling. Not a fan, not a fan. So for now, I'm just going to leave this alone. I'm going to let this dry really good. But what do you guys think? I mean, remember what this thing looked like before? Krylon Premium Metallic. Does pretty good. I think it's going to work. I'm going to let this cure out. Um, it's got a good two coats on it. It just looks weathered. It looks weathered enough. It doesn't look brand new. I actually really like how it kind of came out. I think in a pinch, that stuff can actually work. So I'm going to go ahead and paint all the other parts. Um, and we'll go from there, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoy the, enjoy the videos, please subscribe. Give a thumbs up on the videos that you enjoy. Also, follow, follow along Instagram and Twitter at BV Matson. I don't know. I'm pleasantly surprised. Be interesting to see what happens when I uh, buff that out, polish it up just a little bit. Might even look even better. All right, guys. Have a great day.